big we got a beaver here yesterday there's just a big slide coming in and this was a combined cornfield there ain't much left of it they were still coming up in here um we got something in here today i don't know what the whole stand is gone i can see the cable stretched out so we're gonna see what it is Let's see if i can not fall down this bank Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Do you want to know what it was? An otter? Because we didn't get him. Gosh darn it. Yep. Yeah. He stretched us out. We got him by the tail. And it was just enough to... Yeah, we didn't get him good. We'd have had to shoot him if we'd had him. All right, we got another beaver in here. The hut's actually right down here on that tree, leaning out over the water. They got a hut all mudded up in the bank, but it's so deep right in front of it, we couldn't get any traps in there. They had a little caster mound right here, and this log makes a pinch point. So I just put a little caster up on the bank here, set the 330 in here on an H stand. And uh, this is our second beaver in two days out of this spot. So, there's a coon over there on the bank. We can see, I don't know if you can see it here, but we can see it when we pulled up on the bank over here. We just had a possum down here. So we're starting to catch a little bit this morning. So I'm gonna pull this out and uh, we'll get this remade. This is a lot better beaver than I caught here yesterday. The beaver I caught here yesterday is pretty small. So. up yeah it's a lot better beaver so we'll uh let me get him out I brought my waders with me down here. I'm doing everything I can to avoid putting them on because the bulk of our traps down here are land sets, so I just don't want to carry them with me and put them on and off. I just gotta find a couple of sticks. Jab in here. So this one's up here. All right, I'm just gonna, I don't know if Linda's gonna keep filming. I'm just gonna grab a couple sticks to shove in on either side of this. And I'll throw a little more caster up on the bank here. But. There should be a few more here. That's a pretty good hut. So, the one we got yesterday was a kit. That's an adult, so there should be a few more here. We'll keep hitting them. All right, we got another beaver. We had one here a few days ago. It's just a little backflow off the main river channel. It goes up here in dead ends. I'd really like to put a trap out there. There's kind of a channel goes under that log in the middle, but I was down there the other day even when the water was down, it's a little deeper and I want to be out there. So I'm going to go down and get this beaver out of here, see if I can not fall on the camera. Caught here the other day was probably lucky to be 10 pounds. This is a lot better beaver. This one's probably 
mid 40s. So we're gonna get this out of here and get it remade and get going. We got a lot of traps to check and other things to do today. stand back in the water. I got my put my triggers on the bottom just because of the way they are from our New York laws. Should keep them at or just below the water level. I'm cabled off to this tree. There's a little beaver stick sticking up right here. It's gonna help give me a little guiding. And then I'm gonna put a couple sticks in here. I'll put another stick in over there just to fence this down a little bit. I mean, the bank's all slicked up already. So, let's clean some of this stuff out of here. And then that'll be a finished set once I throw a couple sticks in there. All right, this is just a little cut through. I've caught two otters right down there. Yesterday, you couldn't even see it. Was this from this tree? there was when I set it there was just a little bit of maybe six inches of water yesterday it was all yesterday morning the water was almost over this gravel bar or the sandbar um, yesterday afternoon we were able to get to the trap up there get our otter out this one it was still too deep to get in here so that's something in here I haven't seen what it really what it is yet we're gonna pull it up and look beaver it looks like yep. I haven't seen any beaver chewing down this far. Next last beaver, next beaver colony up the river that we've seen is probably a quarter of a mile. But we're gonna get this out of here and see if we can remake this. The water being up like it is. Three out. We we're pretty sure yesterday there was something in there. Thought it might have been an otter, but I'm sure safeties are on. My lovely New York triggers. See, they still work and still catch in Tennessee. Just bend them around. all sand out here so this goes in pretty easy. I'm gonna get it on the stand and then I'll stick it out there. Try to. I have 
done everything I could since I've been here to not put my waders on because it's been so warm. Today I probably could have got away with it. It's pretty cold this morning. You can see I got a, there's a piece of wood right there is what I used on my one side with a day. Yeah, I can't. I thought I was gonna. Yeah. And I just have to find a couple of sticks. Of course, this is all the roots of this tree. I'm gonna find a couple more sticks, but then that'll be a finished set. We'll cable, still cable off for a tree. All right, I'm just trying to find something to fence this down a little bit more here on this side. Once this water comes down a little bit, it'll funnel through better. Like I said earlier, we weren't really able to get out here yesterday. That's one nice thing I like about the laws here. Tennessee is a 72 hour check on kill sets in the water. That, uh, you know, you don't have to risk getting hurt in these high water events. I wish New York would do something similar to that. Because where we're at, we're still on a seven, we're still on a 24 hour check. And sometimes in them real high water events, they can get a little bit, sometimes I don't want to be in there, but I have to be. So that's remade. Normally I would try to put some kind of dive stick on there. This river's falling and it's falling pretty fast. So by the end of the day, that'll be down a little bit more so I won't have to worry about a crawl over anybody, anything kind of crawl over it. I did just see an otter couple body tracks down here in the sandbar when I was looking for a couple of sticks. So we have a couple more traps up through here. So maybe we got lucky and we'll get another otter today.